you know, the hollowness of the earth? I don't know. Empty. Echo. A hollow. made of potting soil. No, mm. I'm joking. <laughs> I haven't videoed you for a little while. Yeah. The nice thing about the uh, summer and spring and whatnot, they're pools of light because the trees block a lot of the light. So mm. they're pools of light. It's not just all one thing. Right, right. You mean uh, spots, yeah, right? Yeah. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Sounds like a horse fly or something, right? Mm. What do you see? I'm looking at this crinkled plant against the shadow. Oh. And then that pool of light over there, oh. which is hitting here, but the sun's over there, so... Do you want to sit? Do you want to see? Sure. Hello. Oh, uh oh. Oh, yeah. It's like a Japanese painting. Mm -hmm. Very strong. You know, the, the light, the color, the light, very contrast. Uh -huh. When I print it, there'll be no contrast. <laughs> My style. <laughs> well, just this, uh, this Bumps like you know, some kind of disease or some kind of thing happening. The trunk? Yeah. How often you take these pictures? This picture, I take this picture every time I pass this. Uh-huh. I know it looks like there's no light on it at all, but I know, I know that you'll be able to see this very well. It won't be a problem. It's just that they, it's like um, the persistence of life, even uh -huh. though there's such challenge and such um, difficulty. Uh-huh. At least that's what it looks like. Right. You know? Right. But the tree is alive, and uh, this might be caused by deer. They might rub their rub their uh, Horn. horns against it. Uh huh. Something. It could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's so, that good it's for? It's so meaningful. Uh, 
and because it's a direct of, emotional uh, thing inside me. The path or the dirt or the shape? Uh, it could just be the ground, you know, uh. the ground itself. It could have rocks in it, it could have not have rocks, it could have some, you know, it's just so many different. Uh, or the footprint. Things. I remember you took some footprint. Right, but I don't need any footprints anymore. You know, when you're when you're in tune with this, every single thing is alive. Every every shape, every gesture of, uh -huh. a, of a leaf or a rock, or you know, it's all registering in your in your emotions. Right. Well, amazing! You pay attention a lot to this. Well, it's a gift. It's a gift to. Uh, to connect with uh, your visual experience. You know, uh -huh. Maybe it's not just visual, maybe it's like poetry. And even even non-visual, like just the air and the, and the, uh, the smell or the sound. It is true. I love this fresh air with the dirt, you know, ground and the tree trunk mix that smell. Do you smell that? Now? Yeah. I'm not smelling too much. It's it's it's, it's too dry. I, I I don't I don't smell much. If if, if, I if do. it rained yesterday, huh? then you would be kind of you take a picture that's that's full of meaning and drama. You lose that experience. Some of my favorite pictures are like, this is not a picture of anything, mm. except there's some kind of uh, quality to it that you notice because there's nothing else there to distract you. Right. But if you have someone, you know, coming up over, jumping over a rock, and you know, <laughs> then that's what you notice. You don't yeah, notice true. the actual. Base, base normal, quality. normal things. Yeah, yeah. I start to appreciate the normal things now. Something like this strange rock. Sometimes if I focus too much on it, I don't like it later on. So, might have to be. This is the rock you focus on? That, that. It's mysterious. Oh my God. Normally I just walk I over. Know. <laughs> I don't see any it's fascinating ambiguous. It's at ambiguous. all. It's ambiguous. You don't know what it is. Mm. Like there's that gap between. Does that mean it's two separate rocks or it's split off of one rock or what? It's ambiguous. It's 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 uh it's unclear. Mm-hmm. It has a you know a mystery to it. Somehow. Don't shoot my shoes. Maybe I won't like the picture. I don't know.
Listen, that's a, that's a drama. That tree, yeah. that they had a tree trunk? Yeah. There's yeah. a guy at, uh, uh, in Jersey City, a, a sculptor, he, he takes bricks and then he, I don't know whether he hits them or drops them or what, oh. and he puts them back together after they've been broken. Oh. And he studies breaking. That's his, that's his study, is oh. how things break. Oh. And it kind of woke me up to uh, what I'm looking at, you oh. know, like how things die, how things crumble, how uh -huh. things uh, return. To, um, Alive? No, how things return to the soil. You know, this okay. this dead tree might have might have been dead for fifteen years, but mm. it's got maybe another fifty years before it finally returned to the soil. Yeah. But it is, in a way, uh, it's breaking. At this point, it's breaking. It's still breaking. Yeah. reminds me of that an old elephant elephant you mean this Ringo's crack yeah and the the, the uh, smooth the surface age to it oh And all, uh, all of these things we're seeing are kind of injuries in a way. They're, they're disturbances. Mm-hmm. At least that's how I'm reading them. Yeah, the rocks has a history. And they are exposed outside, so they really mark the history. And also they, they kind of make you think of the big rock we're standing on, which is planet Earth. Right. You know. True. But, uh, but 
our rock is boiling inside. Uh huh. Still. Right. Just. like if you're making pancakes and some of the batter jumps out onto a separate part of the pan that's what this is <laughs> a little a little tiny blob blip uh-huh This one will be quick. I have to go to work. Okay.